What's up guys? So today I'm gonna show you how to set up a Google Calendar event using an AI agent. So let's hop on to Anytime. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an AI agent. So let's search AI agent. Click on it. Um, the agent will be a tools agent. Um, it's going to be triggered by a chat. Uh -huh. Everything looks good. Let's go back to our canvas. Uh, we need to hook it up to uh, a chat model and we are going to use OpenAI chat model. So let's search OpenAI. You need to set up your OpenAI credentials here. Um, the model we're using is for or mini. Let's go back to our canvas. Everything is looking good. Next, we need to click on tool and we need to add our Google Calendar tool. So let's search Google Calendar. There we go, click on it. Uh, so you need to set up your Google Calendar credentials from Google Cloud Console. If you don't know how to do this, I'm gonna link a video that's gonna show you how to do it in the description. Um, next is our tool description, we leave it as it is, set automatically, and our resource will choose events, although you also have a calendar, so we'll choose events. Under operation, we're going to choose create. Of course, we have a whole other bunch of operations we can do. For example, we can delete an event, we can get events, we can get many events, we can get an event. We can update an event and we can do a custom API call if this operation isn't among what we want to, to, to execute. So we'll choose create, let's stick to create. Um, we'll also need to choose a calendar. So I'll choose my calendar. So you're going to choose a calendar that you, you had set up in your Google Calendar. And it, it, it's going to appear in the list. So it won't necessarily be called my calendar. It will have a name that you had set it up with as next is our event start date here's where things get interesting so rather than choosing an event from this calendar what you're going to do is you're going to click on expression then we are going to use this expression um, from AI okay and then you are going to give it a label. You are going to name it uh, start bit. So what this from AI expression does is it tells the AI agent to figure out what the event start date should be based on the user's prompt. So if you prompt it. For, for example, let's say you prompt it, um, you want to set up an event uh, today at, let's say, 11 p.m. The AI agent will figure out the start date is 11 p.m. and it will fill it in here. I guess that's clear now. Next, we'll choose our end date, so we'll do the same thing we did with the start date. We'll use the from AI expression. Let's copy this and paste it here and change the description. So end it. Um, under reminders, you can choose to use default reminders or uncheck this and use your own custom reminder. So this is where you the the the, the Google Calendar tool will send reminders. A specific time before events so let's say you set the reminder. so let's let's for example let's set the reminder so we'll set the reminder and the reminder will be sent either via email or pop-up let's click email and then we we'll want to send a reminder let's say 15 minutes 15 minutes before the event that's in order so it will send us a reminder 15 minutes before the event Uh, via email. Um, 
So let's go back. Let's go back. So under this additional fields, we can add other parameters to basically give us more information about the event. So let's click on it. So all this are parameters we can add to better describe our event. So in our case, we're going to select on attendees. The same thing we did uh, with the start and end it is the same thing we're going to, to do here. So we will click on expression, then we'll do the from here expression, and then we'll name it attendees. So one quick reminder, whenever you're prompting the attendees, you need to provide the email address or else it's going to throw an error. Keep that in mind. So let's add another field. Uh, let's add an event description. Click expression mm, from AI. Then let's label this description. What else do we need? Um, Mm. we can also add a location click on expression use the formula expression label this location let's add another field uh, summary click on expression same thing we did we'll do it here so let's label this as summary now we are good to go i think everything looks good to go you're done huh? now that you're done setting up our 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 google calendar ai agent let's test it so let's click on chat um let's say please set up please no sorry let's say please schedule an event uh, going to happen online at 10 p.m. today there's one thing I forgot so let's go back to our, 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 our let's, hide the, let's hide this chat let's go back to our AI agent in order to prompt it uh, to book events on a specific date it needs context of today's date as it is it doesn't know today's date and time so to add that, we're going to add a system message and then we're going to click on expression. Then you're going to add this expression uh, now. So this is the expression that you're going to add. Once we add this, it's going to have context of our time. So, when that, so if we say um, schedule an event uh, today at 10 p.m., going to do it automatically if you don't do that it's not going to successfully do it so let's level this let's call it uh, the time now time now great so let's go back to our charts so let's prompt it again um, please scale June an online um, product product update meeting with Alessandro one at gmail.com. Remember, whenever you are you are creating a new event. Under the attendees, you need to fill in their email addresses. So you can say Alex and then fill in the email address. If you don't do that, it's going to throw an error because that's a parameter it needs to set up an event. 
Um, yeah, so let's complete the prompt today. Let me set up as an empty today at 10 27 p.m. I think we've got everything. Let's hit send. Uh, let's hide chat. Let's see if it executes this command. Yeah, it's executed successfully. Uh, let's open the chat. As you can see, the AI agent got back to us and it scheduled the event. So let's go to our Google Calendar and see if it has truly scheduled the event. Yeah, so we can see here it has scheduled the event. This is the event for, yeah, we had scheduled it for 10.27 p.m. Um, it's going to be online, you see. It's identified it's going to be online. It's having one guest. Uh -huh. It's given us a description of the event. So here it is. Um, it's supposed to send us a reminder 15 minutes before. So here is my email inbox. And as you can see, it sent us a reminder because the, the event is 10 minutes away. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to set up a Google Calendar event using an AI agent. So if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Have a good one.